you blew it again, Lord Crumb. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crumb. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crumb, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then, then leave. Hey, you there! What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. Wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why? Why would you need that? Although I can view all the data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You'll be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as he did earlier. Alright guys, I know I don't normally talk during this, but just a little something. Last episode I had my favorite, I guess, mini boss battle, boss battle, or whatever. You know, favorite thing in the game. This one, it's my least favorite because of how difficult it is. You know? That's why, you know, this is why, you know, I hate it. You'll see. I don't know why I said this is why if you won't see, if you don't see it right now. But for those of you that know, yes, I hate this because of how time consuming, how hard. <laughs> Whatever. Now I will have you con concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow. Okay, how do I make it? You must first get all of the set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the X Not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. All right, so we need to get these red, blue, green, and orange. All right, now we need to read the notes in this room, okay? No, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. All right. No, do not place the red potion on the far right. No, place the blue potion next to the red potion. No, place the two potions between, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. So as I said, green and red go in at the far ends. But if you read this one, do not place the red potion on the far right, which means the red one logically goes here. And let's see here. Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. So we don't, so even though I read them all, it's, you know, place the blue potion next to the red one. So the blue one goes next to the red. So we need to place blue here. Then go, then read this. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Which would be orange. And then green. Yes. Alright. Well, I didn't mean that. Alright, so now we have to hit 
not this. Um, yeah, here it is. Sorry. A little confused, but we have to hit this and listen. Give it a moment. Here we go. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Alright, so we have to do that. Where it stops, we need to dispense. Alright. Press this. This. This is time consuming because you will have to do some precise timing. There is no timer in the game. So, you have to do the timing in real life. So, yeah. It's not like it tells you a timer. Like, you'll see. I'll explain it a bit better. But, yeah. Let's go here. So, he is about to explain it. I will eat the mixed potion for in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Alright, so... Yeah, okay. Um... Fifth... So, uh... 53, okay. So, I, I need to wait. I'm looking at my, um, recording. Okay, so, when it hits 53, I'll stop, and that should be good enough. You know, if you have an actual timer, I would suggest using it for this part. If you don't, then find something online to help you, okay? Because it is a bit difficult, alright? We're nine, one, two... There we go. Alright, stop. Hopefully that's right, because I'd hate to <laughs> have to redo it. Although, some funny effects do happen if you drink the wrong one, okay? By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Very good, then please drink it, all of it if you please. What? What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Alright, so we must grab this, she'll drink it, and bam, I did it correctly. First time I ever did it correctly, that's how hard it is. Because usually, when I'm playing this on my own, I have to, um, go without... A timer so I'm stuck trying to do it in my head counting like trying to count one two three or whatever you know and it's hard all right and yes technically we are Princess Peach naked just thought I'd say that before you guys start saying that in the comments all right so yes we are all right it's amazing they don't ask why there's an invisible shadow like a black spot moving on its own. Oh, well, they probably just think it's like the uh, shadow signs or something. I don't know. Alright, so. Center here. He's like, the hell? So we're in here. So we need to get the data disk from here. Now we need to put it here. And by the way, the opening that plays here is the Famicom opening. The opening for the Japanese NES, by the way. I did it. Yes! I did it! It's working! Alright, so we get it out. We need to place it back there. After doing that, we need to leave the room. Yeah. This one is one of the is probably one of the hardest um things you'll ever do as Peach, okay? So yeah. Literally, every time I play it on my own, I'm literally frustrated for the for like minutes sometimes hours well no more than like two hours then i'm usually like you know what i quit then i stop for the day so we need to uh get the green one i believe it's the green i didn't quite read it yep the green potion here we go Alright, so now we need to leave this room, and it automatically brings us back to tech. Say, by the way, tech, 
What was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message. Can, would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Here we go. One of my other... It's one of my favorite other cutscenes. Or, I don't know. Whatever. Black! What? I, I didn't know we were playing Super Paper Mario. Ha ha ha! Boom. Joke right there. Anyways. Black! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Shouldn't be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go do it. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb arm somewhere around here. This stinks. Really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta go cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Ba, ba, ba. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Buh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, there's off the crumb come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Ugh, actually it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that, and if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, buh. If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troop up, all troops, report! Buh, buh, buh. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Meh. <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super bomb -om! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. They're toast. <laughs> 